Hey tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we're diving into a crucial component for any reliable tech setup. The 5 volt or 12 volt voltage regulator. Now whether you're powering sensitive electronics or integrating a camera system with solar power, maintaining steady power delivery is the key. So let's explore how to install a step-down voltage regulator and ensuring your devices get the power they need without any hiccups. And if you're working on a tech project or need some expert advice, we're offering free tech consultation to help you bring your ideas to life. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will provide you with the solution that tailor for your specific needs. First, let's talk about why voltage regulators are so important. Voltage regulators maintain a consistent output voltage regardless of fluctuation in input voltage. And this is crucial for preventing damage to electronics and ensuring a stable operation. And a 5 or 12 volt step down voltage regulator reduces the input voltage to a lower and stable output voltage. And it is perfect for scenario where you need to power a device that requires less voltage than what your power source provides. For instance, in a solar power system, where we may have a 24 volt or higher battery, but our device might only need 5 or 12 volt. Also, the 5 or 12 volt voltage regulator is often used in automotive system where the standard voltage is too high for a certain component to function properly. By reducing the voltage to a safe and consistent level, it ensures that sensitive equipment such as GPS system or audio devices receive the proper power supply without risk of damage. And let me introduce you to our voltage regulator. Now, our regulator has a voltage indicator, so you can easily monitor the input and output voltage level for quick diagnostics and troubleshooting. Also capable of supplying a maximum continuous current of 3 amp without exceeding its rated capacity. And with improved safety, it supports various protection functions, including overcurrents, over voltage and short circuit protection, effectively prevent potential damage from power surges or drops, ensuring all your devices receive consistent power. So today we'll demonstrate using a 5 or 12 volt voltage regulator to connect a 12 volt dual lens camera in a solar power system. Here's what you need. Of course, you need the voltage regulator itself and also a 24 volt batteries, the solar panel, and the built-in charge controller. Here we have a 12 volt dual lens camera, and over this side we have the NVR, the router, and the monitor to display video footage. And safety first, always turn off and disconnect any power sources before starting your installation. So now let's begin. So first, we have to identify the input and output terminal on the regulator. It is crucial to match the input voltage range to the regulator's specification. And our regulator accepts 9 volt to 36 volt input, which is perfect for our 24 volt battery setup. So now, I am going to get the wire from our solar panel charge controller and plug it into the input port. We have positive and negative. Let's stuck it in and screw it tightly. Now we should strip the wires and ensure a clean connection. Here we go. And also secure the connection are vital to prevent loose wires and short circuits. So now we are done for the input port. And for the output terminal, we are going to get another wire to connect with our dual lens camera. Again, positive and negative. Doing the same thing. So 
So here we go. So next, let's set our desired output voltage. Our regulator has switches for adjustment, and we will set ours to 12 volt to match our dual lens camera. For 12 volt, we have to turn on switch 2, which is right here. So let's turn it on. So it's done. And I'm going to connect the output terminal with our dual lens camera to power it up and connect the Ethernet cable with the router. And after the connection, you can also consider using a heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to insulate and protect your connection. And now let's move on to the battery then solar panel. Let's connect everything else, red to red and black to black. And then I'm going to turn on our solar panel. So it is on with a built-in charge controller. System starting up. As you, please wait. as you can see, our indicator are on and we have the output and input voltage displaying on the screen. And our dual lens camera is getting the power that it needs. The Ethernet cable is going to connect with the router. And using another short patch cord to connect the router with our network video recorder. So we can display the video footage from the dual lens camera. This is the HDMI cable. It is already connected to our big screen monitor. So everything is secure and connected. Now we just have to give it a little bit of time for the video feed to display on our monitor. So as you can see, our video feed is already on. And I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. By integrating the step down footage regulator, now we can power up our 12 volt dual lens camera, even though using a 24 volt battery. And here are a few additional tips. Voltage regulators can generate heat, so ensure adequate ventilation or add a heat sink if necessary. Also, you should utilize regulator with built-in protection features like overcurrents and short circuits protection for enhanced safety. And remember, Regular maintenance is crucial. Periodically check connections and the regulator's performance, especially in a permanent setup. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to installing a 5V or 12V voltage regulator. With these steps, now you can ensure your devices get the stable power they need and keeping your tech setup running smoothly. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorial. And as always, feel free to leave your questions or comment below. Thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling, and I'll see you in the next video.